Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be going over the Banu Defender's hidden abilities. The first thing you'll notice about the Banu Defender, it has these two arms. Um, if you've flown the Defender before you know, and if you've seen it in game you probably know. But these can actually be melee attack arms. Now I wouldn't exactly consider this the most honorable technique, but you can ensure that your opponent isn't doing anything unhonorable as well. So you'll notice that this is the sweet spot here, and you do only get one charge, because if you don't have any arms, this severely impacts your mobility. Alright, just a brief warning, if you are tilted by ship-on-ship -ship collisions, this is your chance to stop watching. So to use your attack arm, you basically just fly at your enemy and give them a good old slap. So Vince, what happens when you get good at this? You're going to be in a great mood all day because you're going to be slapping your troubles away with a Banu Defender. So after you impact an enemy, you typically spin in a rather vigorous manner. If you press X and apply your space break, it will help you get out of the spin more quickly. This puts you in what I call Alpha Defender mode. So the main pros to the Alpha Defender mode are the potential melee instant kill, the forward movement, um, acceleration increase from 7.8 G's to 9.9 G's, which is similar to the arrow. You obviously have a reduced cross-section because you're missing one of your arms. Now the main cons are there's a 25% decrease in DPS in the side strafe in the direction of the non-missing arm is reduced from 3 G's to 1.5 G's, and you have a reduced whole HP as well. Here I'll just give you a brief demonstration of the movement in different directions. You can look at the G indicator at the bottom left of the heads up display. So as you can see, um, it can afterburn uh, forward acceleration all the way up to 19.9 Gs. It can also accelerate backwards at a little over 10 Gs. So while you watch me shoot this Valkyrie, I do want to talk about the potential use cases for this. Um, I wouldn't recommend using it unless you feel like you don't really have any other choices because um, if you do hit a person with a melee attack and it blows off both arms, you're pretty much dead. So you need to be pretty sure that you're only going to hit with one or the other because the arms do provide a lot of your thrust as far as move maneuvering thrust. I'll also add here that uh, the arms can be repaired very easily by going to any place you can repair and they'll just uh, throw them back on there for you. So now I'm going to show you what happens if you lose both of your arms. So you can see I retain pitch and yaw control at the beginning here but you will eventually lose that. Your forward acceleration will also be increased to about 14 G's and 28 G's after burned. If you do find yourself in this situation, I would recommend trying to align to a spaceport in which you can repair. I like to think of this as the Banu Defender's escape pod. Alright, the last thing I wanted to show you guys was how to escape the Banu Defender if you find yourself with no arms. So you're going to want to start by flying backwards, uh, preferably away from any asteroids or space debris that you could fly into. Then you're going to turn off your engines, the default key binding is I. You're then going to get out of your seat and head towards the ramp. So while I do this, I do want to say I'm going to be giving away 2.9 million alpha UEC to a commenter on this video. The giveaway will take place on February 5th, 2021. I wish you all the best of luck. And just like that, you can escape the Banu Defender, and it will keep flying, and whoever was chasing you will probably keep chasing it. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.